This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News. A panel of three federal judges plan to discuss what happens next in the deeply complicated legal wrangling over political districts in Texas. The Associated Press reports the U.S. Supreme Court placed a hold on the redistricting map drafted by the San Antonio-based court last week. That move created an enormous amount of confusion over what electoral map will be used in 2012, when candidates will be allowed to file, and when elections will take place. From Houston and the Associated Press, the Texas Railroad Commission adopted rules Tuesday to enforce a law passed by the legislature earlier this year. Texas has been a pioneer in efforts nationwide to force drillers to be more open about chemical-laced water pumped into the ground to crack dense rock formations to withdraw oil and gas. The process is known as fracking, and some environmental groups fear the chemicals could taint water and pollute the air. Texas will require companies to disclose chemicals, but not concentrations. Other states, such as Colorado, require disclosures of concentrations. Beginning February 1st, the companies in Texas must list the chemicals on a national registry. From Brownsville, a former South Texas district attorney investigator faces up to 20 years in prison in an extortion probe involving a disgraced ex-judge. Prosecutors in Brownsville say Jamie Munevez of San Benito pleaded guilty Tuesday to two counts of interference with commerce under color of official right. A federal judge will sentence Munevez on March 19th. Munevez formerly was a bailiff for State District Judge Abel C. Lamas, who failed in his 2008 re-election bid. Lamas in March pleaded guilty to racketeering. Investigators say Munevez provided fake legal documents to a Limas associate, Jose Manuel Longaria. Longaria last month pleaded guilty to extortion, wire fraud, and conspiracy to possess and distribute cocaine. Lamas and Longaria will be sentenced February 27th. Eight people have pleaded guilty in the Lamas investigation. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News.